31 year old from suburban Chicago has more consecutive Jeopardy wins than any contestant other than all time champ Ken Jennings. The answer, of course, is. Who is Julia Collins? She's here live. We're going to talk to her fresh from her record-breaking win on Friday. But first, we're going to take a look at her winning streak so far. She's been on the show so many times, even Alex Trebek is stumped. I have no more questions for her. I don't know what to talk about. 31-year-old Julia Collins racking up more consecutive wins than any woman in Jeopardy history. What is a canopy? Arium, the fall of the House of Usher. That's it. Coming up with the correct answer 92% of the time. Her triumph Friday. You're now a 20-game winner. Launching her into second place for the most consecutive non-tournament wins by any player. Her expertise in topics like artists 800, history for a thousand, cultures for 2000. Couldn't come at a better time. She's been out of work since the beginning of the year. Now the record and the nearly half a million dollars in prize money offering a suitable answer to this age old question. Julia? What is happiness? Happiness, yeah. And we're definitely happy to have Jeopardy champ Julia Collins with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you. You've been wanting to be on Jeopardy since the eighth grade, and you could prove it by your yearbook, can't you? I, can't, I did. I predicted that I would be a 10-time champion in my eighth grade yearbook, and I, nobody's more surprised than me that that, that that came true. So not only did you say you wanted to be on it, you said you wanted to be a 10-time champ. I was dreaming big. <laughs> and that's how. What do you think? What, what has been your strategy thus far? Why do you think you've won so many times? You know, I, I have a really good memory, and I'm, I'm good at the buzzer, but my strategy is really just to buzz in first and answer the questions right, and, and it's that simple. <laughs> did you do any studying, though? I did. I like did. What? I, um, I tried to review things that I, I knew I knew but couldn't necessarily remember and then brush up on topics that come up a lot on Jeopardy, like opera, Shakespeare, things like that. So things that you weren't quite sure of. But right. you, have, you said you have a good memory, too. I do. I do. So I'm lucky in that. Um, but, you know, it's I, I was a history major. I've spent a lot of time learning a lot of facts. So <laughs> That helped. Train that part of my brain. We have a lot of games here on the sh on our show, and Lara always buzzes in. She has. Yeah. She is so quick with that buzzer, that's part of your strategy too? How does that work? Um, well, when, when Alex finishes reading the question. Oh, the when he finishes, but because mm -hmm. Lara doesn't wait until. Oh, sorry, yeah, well, sorry. that's the thing. If you if you try to buzz in in the middle when, when you would at home, then, then you're going to get uh, locked out. But you wait wait until Alex finishes reading the question, then you, you hit the buzzer like your life depends on it. So, and uh, that's worked pretty well for me. But you said even you could be buzzing even when he's asking. Even though it won't click in until after he completes. Right, right. Ah. So. <laughs> ah. No, no, that's interesting. I didn't, we didn't know that. So the next time we have it here on the show, I think we've, you know, you're, you're going down next time, Larry. You're going down. Well, you know, you cannot be stumped on the show thus far. Our audience feels that they can stump you. And so they put some questions on Facebook. Are you ready? All right. I'm Are you ready. ready, Julia? Okay, this one comes from uh, Sarah. She says, although it is landlocked, it is illegal to hunt whales in this state. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no Does someone else? Alaska. Utah. Utah. The answer is Utah. Oh, oh my funny. goodness, we, we, we actually, st that's oh, way to go, Sarah. Okay, this is the last one. This is from Cody. The man featured on the front of American $100 bills once proposed that this animal should instead be named as our nation's symbol. What is the turkey? <laughs> you won. You won. You've got that one right. Hey, Julia, congratulations. Thank you. And all the best going forward. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for being such a good sport. Be sure to watch Julia on Jeopardy. Check your local state.